The tibia is the anteromedial lying bone of the leg and the fibula is the posterior lateral lying bone of the leg. The medial malleolus is an elevation on the medial distal end of the tibia, while the lateral malleolus is an elevation on the lateral distal end of the fibula. The talus is a tarsal bone that articulates with the tibia proximally, the calcaneus posteriorly, and the navicular bone of the foot anteriorly. The calcaneus is the largest tarsal bone, forming the bony part of the heel. The navicular bone of the foot articulates with the talus posteriorly and with the medial cuneiform, middle cuneiform and lateral cuneiform bones anteriorly. The cuboid is located on the lateral side of the lateral cuneiform bone. The fifth metatarsal bone is the most laterally located bone of all the metatarsal bones. The fibular brevis muscle attaches to the base of this bone, which is shown later in this film. The distal tibiofibular syndesmosis is a complex fibrous joint that links the distal tibia and fibula by multiple ligaments and a strong fibrous membrane. If this syndesmosis is ruptured, due to an ankle injury, it may be an indication for surgery. If left untreated, it can cause chronic instability and pain. The flexor digitorum longus runs posteriorly around the medial malleolus and then continues under the foot until it attaches to the base of the second, third, fourth and fifth distal phalanges. Digital flexion is performed by this muscle and its corresponding tendons. The extensor digitorum longus runs anterolateral to the distal tibia. It splits into four slips after it passes the cuneiform and cuboid bones. Each slip attaches to the dorsal side of the second, third, fourth and fifth middle and distal phalanges. Digital extension is performed by this muscle and its corresponding tendons. The soleus muscle is one of the calf muscles, running on the posterior side of the leg. It attaches to the Achilles tendon, together with two gastronemius muscles. The Achilles tendon is attached to the posterior surface of the calcaneus. Plantar flexion is performed through these muscles and corresponding Achilles tendon. The fibularis brevis runs posteriorly around the lateral malleolus. It attaches to the base of the fifth metatarsal bone. A version of the foot is performed through this muscle and corresponding tendon. The fibularis longus lies superficial to the fibularis brevis and runs similarly to the fibularis brevis posteriorly around the lateral malleolus and then continues under the foot to the medial side where it is attached to the medial cuneiform and first metatarsal bone. Aversion and plantar flexion of the foot is performed through this muscle and corresponding tendon. The fibula archery arises from the tibiofibular trunk, which is a continuation of the popliteal archery. More distally, it runs between the tibia and fibula. The posterior tibial archery arises from the tibiofibular trunk as well. More distally, it is located on the posterior medial side of the distal tibia. Pulsations can be palpated here normally. The anterior tibial archery arises from the popliteal archery. Distally, it is located on the anterior side of the tibia. Upon crossing the ankle, it becomes the dorsalis pedis archery. This archery can be palpated on the dorsum of the foot between the navicular and the middle cuneiform bone, in line between the first and second metatarsal bones. The great saphenous vein is a subcutaneous vein, known as the largest superficial vein in the body. It runs from the anterior side of the medial malleolus proximally on the medial side of the leg. Finally, 
it drains into the common femoral vein, which is not visible in this overview. The great saphenous vein is often used for both peripheral and central bypasses. This vein is often affected in people suffering from varicose veins. The small saphenous vein is a subcutaneous vein running from the lateral side of the foot, continuing inferiorly and posteriorly around the lateral malleolus until it drains into the popliteal vein. The superficial fibular nerve is both a sensory and motor nerve. It runs anterior to the distal fibula. The sural nerve is a sensory nerve that, along with a small saphenous vein, runs posteriorly around the lateral malleolus. Due to its location, this nerve is vulnerable when performing surgery on the lateral side of the ankle.